Hey y'all, we're having fun in my kitchen today because Art. I'm with a precious friend, Lisa Clapp. And she is gonna do, it's funny, I hope you saw the video where uh, a schoolmate of Eddie's from up north, where yes. he's from New Hampshire, she does charcuterie. Yes, honey, they're and real popular. Listen, listen, Lisa wanted to do a charcuterie. I did. A charcuterie. I did. I, 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 I call it a charcuterie. 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 Uh -huh. All right, so how much fun is this gonna be? Her two friends that are here with her, Wendy and Lisa, they're gonna be your sous chef. Y'all so have excited. at it, girls. Oh, thank hey, you, so Paula. Uh, well, these are two of my best good friends, Lisa best good friends. and Wendy Engel, but I call her Winifred on the vlog, and that's how people know her. <laughs> but, but we do charcuteries a lot when we get together, and I'm gonna just let y'all go to it. So are you gonna do the florette things, the little flower little thing? Flowers, yes. Okay, right. and then we'll just all work together. So okay, let's sure. just get it. Sure. Let's okay. get her done. Thing. Yes. So let's. So Lisa, tell us what we're putting on it. Okay. Well, well let me start here. I make a pineapple pepper jelly, pineapple pepper jelly, and I like to put it over cream cheese. Okay. And then I like to have crackers and spread it on the crackers for that. So I brought some of that to put on the uh, board. And that's got kick, a kick to it. Didn't you tell me it had a really It has bit, a little bit of heat because it's got it's some, a little bit. I'm meat. sorry. It's got some jalapeno peppers. In it. So you might want to enter with caution with that, but you can put any kind of jam that you want over that cream cheese or over uh, any kind of soft cheese that you like for a charcuterie. Okay. And we've got, I don't know, what, what kind of cheese is this? Rye, that's a um, rye, yeah. no, 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 dill and, mm. what is it, Lisa, dill and rosemary and rosemary. Olive. Oh, that sounds wonderful. That sounds wonderful. So, um, anyway, charcuteries, they've been around a long time, but they feed a lot of people, and they're really good if you're having a get-together and you want to have just a starter. You know, and just set it out so people can munch on it or whatever. And honestly, it creates conversation around it. You know, I always pick something that's pretty. This is Amish made, it's one of a kind, and we're gonna leave this for Miss Paula, okay? All right. People get really intimidated by charcuterie oh, boards yeah. because of not really knowing. Um, can you do it wrong? I don't think so. And I've seen people do candy charcuteries, like for Easter egg hunts for their grandchildren. I've seen them do it with hamburgers and s'mores. hot dogs, picking up s'mores. So I don't think you can do it wrong. I really don't. So I, what we're going to do I was gonna is say, we're going to make a rose. So we're going to start out with salami. And we're going to grow it. And it, as it always works best with some thin salami. Mm. So this is kind of going to be like your centerpiece. Yes. Or you can offset it, but it's really pretty and it's simple. Okay. You want me to help you put it? I got it, girl. Okay. I might need a little bit more. Yeah, let me. You want me to come over here? Yeah, grab me some more. Ooh, we're learning a new trick. Ooh, I know. Well, well, when she said sense. something about a rose, I'll uh, <clears throat> Here you go, peel a tomato and roll it up and make a oh, rose yeah. out of tomatoes. Oh, yeah. I had no special. idea, y'all. And tomatoes would be pretty on this, too. Uh-huh. Wow. Oh, and this kind of press down my edges. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Tell me when. Okay, Do I need to run to the store, girl? No, girl, but I don't know if you got our own. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I love it. We'll just use all of it. How about that? Yeah, let's yeah. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of the new fad, too. Oh, I mean, gosh. And we'll have the bachelor parties. Ooh, and uh, uh -huh. yeah, we'll make all the show. Oh, where mm -hmm. y'all watch the bachelors or the bachelorettes. Mm -hmm. So I kind of press it down. Look. <laughs> and then I turn it, Paula. Look, Paula. Huh? We're going to turn it down now. Uh-uh. Or away. Oh! See, oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, oh, so whenever they want to eat, they just pick a leaf. Oh, sorry, so we're honey. going to use the small that one. That is genius. So we're going to use a small one. So this, uh, we can make a few of these. That oh, yeah, so is it's, it's, genius, y'all. How about my friends out there? How do y'all like that? <laughs> my friends out there doing? We, we are y'all enjoying this? I hope day. so. Yes. Girl. What a neat little trick. Well, I've I don't get out much, y'all. <laughs> I need to get out more. <laughs> 
You well, need to come to Greensboro, North Carolina, Paula. Yes, Paula. We will have. We, we'll have. We're happy to have you in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh -huh. So let me come in a little bit more and show. Yeah, just crease it there, and you just overlap them. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more going. Wendy, I think I've seen it. And then I just kind of press house. it there. Okay. And then when you turn it over, it comes that out. That is it. You've got to rub it. Oh. And you can spread it out if you want. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Even I can do that. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. And tasty. And you know, uh -huh. as people get it, they don't need to worry about it staying pretty. You just get it and right. go. Get it and oh, go. I love the little one. Mm -hmm. The little one is cute, isn't it? Uh huh. So that's a cheddar, correct? All right. Now, where did you well, girls learn how to do little things Gouda. like this? Oh, Gouda. Gouda. Well, well, my daughter Gouda. is in love with charcuterie boards. Is and she? She did. She, you know, she watches YouTube all uh -huh. the time and uh -huh. different uh, Pinterest, uh -huh. and she found that idea one night, and so we did it, and it's we used it every night. This is but become it a big better. Uh, charcuterie boards yes. have become a very big uh -huh. business. Uh -huh. We have people oh, in Savannah yeah. people that do nothing trying, but yeah, this. Yes. People are trying to watch their weight and not eat heavy hors d'oeuvres. Well, I tell you, so Lisa, this is, this is good. you gave me a charcuterie board mm -hmm. and it was, it's at least three foot long. Mm -hmm. And I use that board more than, it's been probably one of my favorite gifts I've ever given. I mean, ever received. And now that's what I do. I'll buy the charcuterie meat by the uh -huh. charcuterie board uh -huh. I did for my sister for her birthday. Took it over there and I made it so when the family come over they mm -hmm. had, you know. So y'all just treat. buy the packaged meat. You don't have anything sliced in the deli. I you, normally do. I'll go get the boar's head. You can. Uh -huh. And if you're worried about um, healthy, you can do bowls of different fruit that's yeah. seasonal. Yeah. You can do dried fruit. It, there's no, it's no holds bar on what you can do right. with these. Well, all this is uh, What's that diet? Michael's on that keto, um, keto diet. Mm -hmm. All of that's legal, it probably except the crackers. Mm -hmm. right. There you go. Right. Yeah. And you know what? Honestly, I'm glad you said that, Paula, because my guys who are a little bit on the picky side, they mm -hmm. love just little pieces of cheddar and a, a slice of summer sausage. Yeah. They'll eat yeah. it all day long, and if I have it out, they'll eat, you know, they'll eat it. They'll eat your sheep. They will eat the charcuterie. Charcuterie. Exactly. But yeah, a lot of times we'll drop in like black olives. Uh -huh. or, you know, yeah, or, I was gonna say, what kind of center do you need? Listen, uh, you can do whatever. Yeah, you want. I think the black olives or the green olives. Mm -hmm. yes. Stuffed green olives. Uh -huh. Oh stuffed yes, green olives. stuffed green olives. Oh, I love those. Love them. Uh, but you can do anything you want me to with see? them. I'll see if I got something. I don't think I do. Michael and I don't. Olives are not one of our favorites, so I, I don't keep them. Well, and you know what? The other thing I've seen people do are those peppers. You know those round peppers? Yeah. And they're, yeah. They kind of taste like a banana pepper, but yeah. they're round and fat. Yeah, I've you know. seen them do that. Pepperoncinis. Pepperoncinis would be great on here. Absolutely. And even condiments, like I said, for your hamburger hot dog type gatherings. And a lot of times I'll take like the turkey ham, like the boar's head, roll yes. it up and cut it in threes, put a little toothpick in it. And it's done. Yeah. Yes. And you could put celery, uh, carrots, you know, like you can have healthy options for friends that you're doing. I do she have She does olives. have some I should have known, Teresa, that Eddie is going to have martini olives. <laughs> All right. I love it. Do we, you mind if I just... No, I want you to... Okay. Anything I've got. All right, let me get a fork. Hey, what about one of Paula's little dishes over here that takes of us? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, you want to put it in the middle of the meat? Yeah. Miss well, Paula. that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, 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 this is no, what she's she talking about right, right there. there. Oh, gotcha. And to give it a center. Let's and I will tell y'all this. I can attest to this. These are food grade boards. They have been wiped down with mineral oil that is food uh -huh. safe. Uh huh. Okay. He's so, going ask all the time about how do you clean that bowl. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I wipe you, mine off. Okay. Do with you water. ever use soap and water on them? I use just a tiny bit of soap. Yeah. Tiny. Yeah. And then I make sure I get it real clean with uh, warm water. Uh -huh. 
-huh. And then let your wood dry completely. Uh -huh. yeah, and then you can remineralize the wood. Uh -huh. But and only with a thick right. Let it be sitting. Only with what a thick What are you doing right. over here, girl? You better get on there. <laughs> you got somebody that's lagging in the side She's going to come to eight, honey. There's nothing <laughs> lagging about Winifred. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> camera shy. <laughs> That is not true because she has done recipes for cooking cutting oh, up. Her. You and better get in there. What job. is cooking cutting up? Cooking cutting up, keeping it real, is my Facebook page. Am I putting these in here, Sugar? Yeah. Okay. Um, it gives it some more color anyway. Look, uh, Michael's not gonna be mad that we eat all of his olives. He don't like olives. It's oh, well, shoot! What am I? Oh, it's in. He likes the olive in his martini. You know what? Tell Eddie I get him. He some more. and Elaine. Yum. Seabolt. Yum. My friend that is an attorney, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, real estate mm -hmm. girl here in town, mm -hmm. when she comes by, they love oh, sorry. Their, their martinis. Well, and I'll tell you a little secret too here. I'm gonna tell on Winifred who's being kind of quiet. At Christmas time, <laughs> we always get together, okay? And so she takes green olives and put. Why don't you tell them what you do I'm with? Them? Yeah, what you gotta do. tell them. Oh, oh, it's just the hot sauce, and they're <laughs> so good. It's just something. Tell simple. us you, what you, you do. You take your olives. I usually use smaller ones than that, uh -huh. and I drain the juice out. Uh -huh. Keep the container, the glass container, and then I fill it up with some type of hot sauce, whether it's Texas uh -huh. pea uh -huh. or Frank's, uh -huh. and marinate them. And mm, then I have so two dishes of olives, plain, and then the ones that are with Texas pea. My kids. Love them. They get. I mean, they're delicious. You they're know really what? Michael loves hot stuff. So he love might, that. He might would eat those. And what what kind of olive do you use? Is it stuffed with anything? No, it's just the pimento. Oh, just the regular pimento. Uh huh. Just the regular. The green. See, but now I just love finding out what everybody's doing out I there, know Teresa. You, do. you know, I good. ask everybody, please send me a recipe Ooh. or tell me what what you're doing it's so much fun right now and we have gotten some great recipes yes. and we've done yes. a lot of them on on the show i cannot thank you enough for tuning in wendy and lisa y'all are always so helpful and i appreciate it and i appreciate you coming on this journey with me lord have mercy let me hug you too oh. anyway she's a hugger y'all she's a hugger Charcuterie. this is Beautiful, y'all. I love it. Very little effort. The hardest part was going to the store and getting the stuff. It's the truth. That is the yeah. truth. So, what you tasting? I don't know. What What you recommend? I well, start now, with. I told this this pepper jelly. This pepper jelly is a little bit hot. So, I love it, pepper jelly. You do? Do you mm -hmm. like a little heat? Mm -hmm. Well, I make my when I make pepper jelly, I make it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna serve you one and you try. Mm, it. Thank you. This cheese is delicious. But I like it. all of it on there. I like all of it. I like everything on here. Oh. Mm -hmm. On your cracker? No, just anything on here. I love it. Mm. See what you think. Mm. They tried to teach me how to do Princess Bites when I was on that National Cooking Channel. Princess Bites? I hope I never learned. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think I know how to do Princess Bites either, but now. That is some hot pepper jelly. It is hot. It is hot. I want one more little bite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, the kind of heat that I enjoy a little of it sometimes mm -hmm. is um, Asian restaurants, the little green. Mm, the wasabi. Wasabi. Yes, girl. Because it comes in, it slaps you, and it leaves. And it clears your sinuses, and mm -hmm. you feel better mm -hmm. later. And speaking of leaving, Miss Paula, thank you so much for leave. charcuterie. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Love Send it. Send us your ideas. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.